My name is Lisa, and I'm a full-time housewife. Usually, after sending off my family, I'm busy with household chores. But given the current times, the kindergarten that my daughter Madison attends has been closing more frequently. For that reason, I've had more opportunities to spend time at home with Madison, which makes coming up with activities a bit of a challenge. However, today is a rare day for her to go to kindergarten, and I went to pick her up like I used to. As I was walking the usual route, I met Ophelia, who had just moved in nearby, for the first time. Nice to meet you. I'm Ophelia. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm Lisa. Have you settled in after your move? Sort of getting there. By the way are there any good men around here? Huh? Good men, you say? This person is Ophelia. She has a daughter in the same class as Madison and had just started attending the same kindergarten. According to what I heard from other moms, Ophelia is a single mother. While I was puzzled by her unexpected question, a man in a suit approached us. Hey, isn't that Lisa? Oh, sorry to interrupt your conversation. Oh? What brings you here at this time? I remembered I forgot something during my outside work and came to pick it up. By the way, Lisa, what are you making for dinner tonight? I wish I could join if I wasn't working late. What are you talking about? Instead of that, shouldn't you hurry and pick up what you forgot? Yeah, you're right. See you later. This man is Wade, who once helped me by picking up something I dropped while walking in the city. Even though we've only chatted briefly, he acts as if we're old acquaintances. I laughed and played along, but I find him a bit difficult to deal with. As I watched Wade leave, Ophelia seemed to look somewhat displeased. A few days later, as I was walking through town again, I've finished my errands, maybe I'll relax a bit before picking up Madison. Uh, what a coincidence meeting you here. How about joining me for lunch? I'm a bit busy today, so, sorry, maybe another time. I made up an excuse and quickly went back home. Thinking about it, I realized I've been running into Wade quite often lately. But at that time, I thought it was just a coincidence due to his work schedule and didn't pay much attention to it. Some time passed, and then... Um, Ophelia? About parking your car, the spot you parked in earlier might obstruct other traffic, so when you park... Ugh, so annoying. Don't start with me. I'm not trying to start anything. Lisa, perfect timing. I bought extra drinks, take these home and enjoy them, it's hot today, so make sure to drink up, okay? See ya. Eh? Oh, thanks. What? Showing off flirting with a man. Seriously annoying, just go away. I was just trying to give advice about parking, but Ophelia got angry at me. Moreover, her attitude towards me kept getting worse. Because of that, I started keeping my distance from her. But after a while, I heard a strange rumor from other moms. A little while later, when I happened to meet Ophelia on the street. Ophelia, I heard something, about you stealing my husband? It's become a bit of a rumor, what's going on? What do you mean? It's exactly as the words suggest. Exactly as the words suggest? I want to hear it straight from you. It means you lost to me. As a woman, I'm more attractive. Well, of course. I'm beautiful, so it's no surprise that even married men fall for me. Even my ex-husband, when we were divorcing, begged me, please don't leave. Being a woman who's always desired is tough. The more I hear, the less I understand. So, that super high-spec guy, who's successful at work, earns well, and is handsome. I easily snatched him up. Eh? Yeah. Taken away by a woman who just moved in recently I understand it must be upsetting. Could you explain a bit more clearly? Ah, uh, right. This must be a bolt from the blue for you. So, I guess it's natural you're completely shocked. Oh, just so you know, I'm already pregnant. Which means your divorce is inevitable. Well, from now on, you'll have to manage on your own. I couldn't understand the meaning of Ophelia's story to the end. Come to the cafe tomorrow to talk about this. Called out by Ophelia, I went to the cafe at the specified time the next day. After a while. Sorry to keep you waiting, Lisa. Oops, I'm a bit late. It doesn't really matter, but, so? You said you wanted to talk? It's your fault, Lisa, for always being so cold towards me. That's why I started dating Ophelia. See? I'm the better woman, right? Thinking you're better because you're single and bragging about your men. Ha! Huh? 
If you had seriously chosen me over your husband, you could have lived a happy life. But it's too late to regret now. Huh. Wait, Lisa divorcing and being with Wade, what do you mean? Because Wade is Lisa's husband, right? I want to ask the opposite. How did it become that this person is my husband? Whatever. It doesn't matter. Wade works for the top company Dame Corp, he's cool, and he's got money. Even if I was mistaken, he must be better than Lisa's husband. At this moment, I finally realized that Ophelia had mistaken Wade for being my husband. I also understood why she became grumpy every time she saw Wade and me interacting. However, such a misunderstanding was nothing but troublesome for me. I heard from a well-informed mom friend that Wade is actually a freeder, and he's really reckless with money and plays around with women a lot. Also, I just found out yesterday that Wade intentionally steals things from people's bags and then pretends to have found them, saying, you dropped this. What? I didn't know that. Sorry, Lisa. I got late. On the way here, I found a rare gotcha for Cop Fujiko-san. And you are. Ah. Uh, isn't that Noah, the young CEO who's been in the news recently? Uh, you guys. I heard the story from Lisa. First of all, you claiming to be pregnant with my child is 100% impossible. And you. You're Wade, who was fired from our company for causing trouble, right? I thought I recognized you, trying to hit on my wife, of all things. Wait, what's going on? So, you're saying Lisa caught CEO Noah, and the Wade I caught isn't an elite rich man at all. Why did Wade tell such ridiculous lies? This is outrageous. It all started because you came on to me first. I never once said I was Lisa's husband. Did you just misunderstand that on your own? It was revealed that Wade was a former employee of Noah's company, fired for causing problems during work. While our meeting was truly coincidental, the fact that a former associate was making advances towards me upset Noah greatly. Regardless of the specific issue he caused, Noah was still incredibly angry. Didn't I tell you when I fired you? Never to show your face to me again. You swore to that condition, and that's why, despite the unbelievable problem you caused, I let you go without demanding compensation. And yet, what have you done now? I don't care about Wade. Hey, you. Don't think you've won just because your husband is a real CEO. Anyone can see that I'm overwhelmingly cuter. I don't care about that. More importantly, I've already spoken to your parents at the house where you're living now. They said they'd take care of your child. But they also said they can't handle you anymore and are going to kick you out. If you have time to waste here, you should go home and talk to your parents. What? Hey! What right do you have to do that? Don't go telling my parents unnecessary things. I haven't said anything to them yet. Of course, you couldn't, right? How could you tell them you're trying to steal someone's husband and remarry? That's something you can't really talk about, right? It's not about not saying anything. It's about not being able to say anything. What's this I'm overwhelmingly cuter nonsense? Lisa is way cuter. And you? Stop looking for relationships in such underhanded ways. Taking advantage of the fact that someone noticed your lost item and trying to get close under the guise of being kind. Don't start acting all familiar just because someone was nice to you. That was just a bit of coincidence or something like. The only coincidence was that she's my wife, right? Doesn't change the fact you were messing around. Don't be ridiculous. It seemed Wade had seriously angered Noah during his time at SKT Corporation. This only added to Noah's growing fury. However, the targets of his ire, Wade and Ophelia. So basically, Wade, you're a poor man. Seems like it. He probably doesn't have any savings. When he was at our company, he was always hitting on the receptionists and female employees from other departments with his overly familiar attitude. That was just a bit of communication, no problem there. It's totally fine for employees to have mixers or whatever, right? I'm not talking about that. You were indiscriminately hitting on everyone, married or single, right? Workplace relationships aren't banned, and it's fine as long as it doesn't cause trouble or affect work. But you just stirred things up and caused issues. Wait, so you're that kind of guy? Looks like it. He just mindlessly flirts with any woman. You never learned, do you? Try to get a bit smarter about it. Then how do you explain Wade acting so generous until now? He bought me all sorts of things and took me to expensive restaurants, even had a really nice luxury car. Ah, uh, well, about that. You probably borrowed the money from somewhere, and the car must be a friend's or something. You know, the tables might turn on you soon. Your family's house is quite big, Ophelia. Maybe he's after your assets. 
What? What are you saying? Wade's pretense to Ophelia wasn't just about his title. The two continued to argue selfishly about money and women for a while. Now that I think about it, isn't this Lisa's fault? If Wade wasn't your husband, you should have said so from the start. Now that you mention it, that's right. If Lisa had just mentioned that to Ophelia, we wouldn't be in this big mess now, would we? How am I supposed to answer something I wasn't even asked? Besides, I only just found out that Ophelia was misunderstanding. It's just Ophelia's misunderstanding. It's unfair to blame me for that. Didn't Wade say something about being able to eat dinner if he wasn't working overtime? Ah, uh, maybe Wade said something like that. It's annoying even if you're joking. I'm troubled if you get mad about something that's already passed. Lisa is the one who's troubled. And what's this about blaming Lisa? So what? If Lisa is seen talking to some guy, is he automatically her husband? And then what? You're going to accuse her of stealing husbands every time. You really have too much free time. There are days when the kindergarten is closed. Why don't you play with your child? It's fun. It's more meaningful than hanging out with a self-proclaimed elite. Don't call me a self-proclaimed elite. Well, that's what you are. You put on airs and hooked Ophelia, right? And you're mistaken if you think. Seeing you and Ophelia together would make me jealous or something. I don't have such feelings. Why not? You must have been a little interested in me, right? Not even a speck. Lisa and I will be a loving couple forever. There's no space for you in our relationship. Wade and Ophelia were both trying to push the blame onto me, getting all defensive. Seeing this, I clearly understood that continuing the conversation would be a waste of time. All right, that's enough. There's no point in talking any further. Oh, are you trying to run away, Noah? It's a waste of time. You might have time to spare, but I don't. Continuing this discussion will only cut into the cozy time I have with Lisa. And think about it. The problem between Wade and Ophelia is based on lies, and it has absolutely nothing to do with me and Noah, right? We're just being dragged into this for no reason. But Lisa and Wade were getting along. Maybe you're actually close. That's impossible. Don't say creepy things. Creepy. Yes, creepy. The way we met was strange, your sense of personal boundaries is off. And exploiting my gratitude for picking up something I dropped is just the worst. I will never forgive you for this. Such foolishness. How is any of this Lisa's fault? You tried to attract Lisa and failed, and you approached him for money only to find out he was a fake. Don't take it out on Lisa. And just to say, Wade, you don't look like someone who has a lot of money. Eh. I mean, your clothes and shoes don't look like you pay much attention to them. True. His shoes are pretty worn out when you look closely. But whether you dress up or chase men for their money, it doesn't concern us anymore. Aunt Ophelia. I'll be sure to mention this to your parents as well. Faced with our remarks, Wade and Ophelia reacted. Please don't do that. I beg you. Lisa, please. Don't tell my parents about this. No way. And you said you worked at Dame Corp, but that's not true, right? You're actually doing part-time work at Dakin Corp, right? Thought you wouldn't get caught? I can't comply with that request. Your parents are troubled and it's causing problems for everyone around. I'll change my ways and start living seriously. I'll stop relying on my parents and take care of everything myself. Who would believe that? Taking responsibility for yourself is a given. Take this as an opportunity to really reflect. As a result, Wade was demanded to pay compensation for the trouble he caused previously. No one believed anything Wade said anymore, as he was full of lies. Ophelia was disowned and kicked out of her parents' house. Her claim of being pregnant was also a lie to ensnare Wade. Both were left with no one to rely on. They now live together, working part-time jobs a few times a week, barely making enough to cover rent and utilities. Ophelia's child is being lovingly raised by her parents and still attends the same kindergarten as Madison, playing happily with Madison and their friends. As for me... I was planning to take some time off anyway. Ah, uh, so, Dad? Since Madison's kindergarten is closed and I'm off work, we'll play a lot. Yay. That's great, Madison. Yeah. Lisa, you've had a tough time lately. Take it easy for now. Thank you, Noah. Dad, what shall we play? Well, let's see. Madison's kindergarten closed again, and Noah took a few days off to match. 
Ophelia's parents and her child were happy to spend a lot of time together. We moms, sometimes including the kids, had remote tea parties, making the most of our time. Despite the unbelievable ordeal, the hectic days made it a blur in memory. Watching Noah and Madison laughing and playing together, I realized this was my true happiness. Grateful for the time I can spend happily with my family, we continue to enjoy our time together. If you enjoyed this video, we'd be thrilled if you subscribed to our channel. Subscribing means you'll receive notifications for new videos, keeping you in the loop with all our latest content. Your support is vital to our growth. Let's enjoy and grow together.